The first time I smoked marijuana, which is something that I never loved, was um, I was in my teen years. And um, I remember this rapper group had came to Trinidad and we were they were um, going to do this show. And I remember, um, you know, young girls, all these young girls, what they call them nowadays, groupies, you know, they went, we went to the hotel where these men were, where they were staying. That was the first night I really smoked marijuana. I think the marijuana was so potent that um, I didn't know what occurred after I take that first pull of the marijuana. And um, I didn't know anything again until next morning. But that night I was raped over and over and over again from this group um, they were you know from this other country then um, I was introduced to cocaine um, by a guy I was dating um, he helped me um, from a situation and he introduced me to cocaine and he taught me how to make the crack and how to cut it and you know put the soda in it and all these different things I understand now why people stay getting high the first hit with cocaine Man, it takes you into such a beautiful place. Let me tell you, it transforms you. You in just this place, you just feel your body just relax. You just feel like you want another one and another one and another one. But after a while, the hits, you don't get that same sensation anymore. Now you just want to continue taking something to get the first feeling that you had the first time you hit it. It's like a deadness, it's like a numbness of the mind. It takes you into a place where um, you are just like in, in sync with this drug, like nothing phases you, nothing move, moves you. You just in like peace with yourself. And um, it's like hit after hit because you want to stay in that place of peace. It's the experience of it. It's the feel, it's the, the, the place it takes you. You want to stay in that place. And the thing about it is when it's wearing off, that that's when you start wanting the next hit and the next hit and that's where the addiction comes in. So our weekend was spent locked up in a room, um, taking, doing um, snorting cocaine and also uh, smoking crack. Cocaine damages your nostrils and actually eats up the skin that's within the membranes, that's within your nose. Um, the cocaine eats it away. And um, this is things that people don't know and people don't tell you the truth um, when you are embarking on this, taking these drugs and stuff like that. I was always running back, running to get back to that place. I, it, it was my, that, that was my, that was my God. That cocaine was my God. That cocaine brought me peace. It, it brought me the feeling that I wanted to feel. I felt on top of the world with the cocaine. I felt like I could conquer, like I can do anything with the cocaine until the effect wore off. Then it came back to reality. I took cocaine and I went to work like everything was normal. I got up, I got dressed. Um, I did all the makeup. Um, I looked, I looked the, the regular part. I, I looked the part. I knew how to lace the cigarette with the cocaine. I, I, I knew how to do all those things. But nobody knew that I was high, that I was getting high after work. I never went to work high. I always went to work with a, a sound mind. But I couldn't wait to get out of work, to get home, to get to my secret, to find that place where I thought it was the place of peace. Young people, listen. Cocaine is just a fix to a temporary problem. You do not want to get addicted to these drugs. And this is where I continue to thank God in my life. I did not have to go to a 10-step program. I did not have to go to a three-step program. I did not have to go to a two-step program. I did not want to be addicted to this thing. I did not want this thing to consume my life. I did not want to be that one sitting on the corner street addicted to drugs. Drugs is just a, tempor a, a, a temporary fix for a problem that needs to be fixed in a, with a sober mind. And the only way that you can do these things, you have to trust God. My Lord and my Savior, I cried out to Him and I asked Him for help. And let me tell you, He took that thing, the taste of that cocaine, He took it away from me. So just my relationship with God. The little bit I knew, the little bit of the Bible I knew at that point in time in my life, I had the common sense to know, listen, I need some help. And God took the taste and the desire from my taste buds for that thing they call 
cocaine. Crack and cocaine is just temporary. But God can take that thing that you're trying to make permanent and he can make it into a thing that you wouldn't even have the desire to want it no more. I tried to go back to it, but the Lord would not let me. That desire has t- was taken completely away from me. Just as going to the nightclubs, it was taken away from me. And alcohol, taken away from me. Never have a desire for it. Not another day in my life. God is a deliverer. So today I want you to give God the glory today. Let me tell you, he's a real God. He is a true God. He's a God that speaks. He is not a plastic that sits on a counter. He is, we don't have to light candles and we don't have to, to wave sage and we don't have to do these things. All we got to do is call on him. All we have to do is to trust him. All we have to do is say, Lord, I'm here. All you got to do is to bend your knees. All you got to do is say, Lord, I need you. That's all you got to do is say, Lord, I need you. And let me tell you, he will show up in that hour. No matter what time, no matter what day, the Lord God Almighty, he is going to show up in that very hour that you call on him. Listen, just believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord. Confess to him today. Give your life to him today. Just say this after me. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I give this stronghold of cocaine. I give this stronghold of marijuana to you. Father, I give it all to you today. I surrender it to you, Lord. Father, touch my heart today, Lord. Purge me today, Lord. Purge this addiction out of me today, Lord. Father, today I want to make you my Lord and my Savior. Father, today I need you in my life like never before, Lord. Father, I can't do this thing without you. Father, I can't do life without you, Lord. So God, come into my life today. I receive you as my Lord and my Savior. Now, if you say that prayers and you say that prayer with conviction trust me I'm a living witness God will not let you down I guarantee you 100% that he will meet you at your place of need hey this is evangelist Carol Dolan thank you have a great day